What's up, y'all? This is the curious one, and uh, I got my Oculus Quest on, and Oculus Quest has released, finally released, uh, Arizona Sunshine. It's a game that I was um, <clears throat> wanting for a while. It's a zombie game. Um, I've watched other people play it. Uh, the favorite one that I've seen play it is, I can't even remember his name, but he calls everybody the ugly man. And uh, his icon is a cartoon character with a brown paper bag over his head. He calls everybody mate. Um, if y'all know who I'm talking about, go ahead and leave that down in the comments. Um, that reminds me, this channel is not for children. It's actually intended for my friends and family that are in other states that are not with me so that I can show them, you know, weird shit that I do and, you know, just a way for them to keep in touch with me. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, FTC or FCC, whatever the heck you're alphabet soup name is don't come and try to get forty thousand dollars out of me i ain't got that i ain't got that crap and i ain't got two or three thousand two or three hundred thousand dollars to fight you to try to keep you to not charge me that because kids are watching my videos or whatever i don't you know i i ain't got all that um but anyways so we're gonna play horde and i originally intended for you guys to watch me play horde for the first time unfortunately while i was recording that um my tablet decided that it needed to force an update so the entire video was just my tablet trying to update. So we got to do it again. Um, I'm not happy about it, but I did do so good, so poorly the first time that it might actually be better that you guys don't see me play it the first time. I don't know. Uh, the games. It's a little weird. Um, the controls are reversed from what I'm used to. Basically, I'm used to pulling down on the thumbstick to drop the mag. But what that does is make you face backwards. So whenever I go to drop my magazine so that I can reload, I end up facing the opposite way. So the bad guy is now behind me and now I gotta turn around to try to shoot him. And um, I'm used to using the A button to warp which in this game is how you drop your magazine. So every time I go to move, I drop my magazine on the floor. No Bino, you know what I mean? Like that is, it's not good. Um, but I'm guessing as I play the game, as I, you know, I'll get more used to it. There's other things like, um, there's no effects, like, you know what I mean? And, um, Gun Club 3, it actually gets annoying sometimes because you'll warp into something and you'll be like, <laughs> but in this game, there's nothing. It's just like, no physics, no, um, like that's not a real obviously not a real thing you know what i mean except for when you 
It's only real when you're not touching it. So, I am wearing that mask already. Otherwise, I would put it on. Um, so, you got credits, calibration. Yes. Got campaign, horde mode, settings. This is how you pick stuff. You got to pick this gun up and, and shoot it at your what are your desired whatever. So you pick up these um, pick these up and you put them into your super NES with the uh, projector. And then you pick up your little gun and you pick which one you want to do and you pull the trigger. And then you pull the trigger again. I think I forgot to mention, like you can't play horde without a horde of zombies, right? So I went and I, I went out and I rounded up a horde of zombies and I put them there by the tab so you guys got them to uh, keep you company. But anyways, um, so this is the king starts off like this, and originally I thought that they would they would only uh, come from like clear pathways right but no they jump over the fence they come out of that little uh you know that little uh thing right there and they come out of that one so you got to be careful for every single direction there's a barbecue pit right here and um Occasionally, burgers will spawn, and then the burger you can pick up and you can take bites out of, and that'll regenerate your health. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I haven't gotten very far, but from what I've seen so far, the ammunition and the guns uh, spawn on that crate right there. So. Let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> Another thing I've noticed in this game is that you have to aim low. Aim like you're gonna shoot them in the neck and you pop their head. I did it again. I tried to drop the magazine. Ah, shit.
keep trying to drop the magazine with the thumbstick. Dumbest one, it's the waitress. That when I shoot her, trash falls out of her. No adjustment. <laughs> Servers usually leave trash everywhere they go. Uh, you know, you could see the grenade up there. See, I don't like this, but this is like the gimmick of the, all the zombie games in VR for some reason. Like, they think you're going to be like, pew, 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 Come on, guys. Nobody shoots their guns like that. I mean, to play around, you shoot your guns like that, but it's not. You know, shoot your guns like this, you know what I mean? We're not your Sam D. Sam. Christ, what's wrong with you people? Let me uh, change that. We don't shoot our guns like this unless you make us do it. <laughs> drop it then.
other stuff. You about to get dead? Oh man, I got dead. That was a little bit better. Yeah, that was uh, a little bit better than my first try. The first try, I was just like, couldn't get the controls right. Even on this one, I couldn't get the controls right. But uh, seems kind of fun. It'd probably be a little bit better if you have a second person or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I guess that's that's my first look at uh, Arizona Sunshine. Uh, it's a little bit too expensive, to be honest with you. It, I think it comes out to like $43 at this time. Right now, uh, it's like 43 bucks. Maybe. That's a, it's just a little bit too much. Um, typically, what I've noticed about the VR games is they're kind of novel and you can usually, if you really want to, you can beat them in about four or five hours. You know what I mean? And then uh, everything after that is like, <clears throat> you're replaying the game, but with like a puzzle or making it harder for some, like some handicap makes the game harder. Uh, to make it a little bit of a longer game, you know what I mean? So you play the game through like on normal and then on the next level, then they add something that makes it harder. And then on the next playthrough, they add something that makes it even harder. Um, like Drop Dead. Um, I haven't beat Drop Dead on, on the hardest level because it's just like, they just threw in puzzles and I don't really, care to try to shoot people and play a, like a, a match game at the same time, like match this to that. It's just horrible. Like, I, I don't, I don't care to do it. Also, I thought that they were going to make casting. They said that they were going to make casting uh, easier. And it seems like it's still really hard because I got this. Okay, for the people that don't know, the, um, let's see if I can show you guys this. So the Oculus Quest, I have uh, two of these controllers, right? One for each hand and I'm wearing one on my head and, you know, where I turn my body at and look, that's what you see but I can set it up to where I can cast it to say my tablet or to uh, a smart smart TV, the spy, the spy TVs. You can set it up to where you can uh, cast whatever you're seeing on your headset to, to your spy TV. And uh, supposedly they made it really easy, but it, it really wasn't. It's really not easy because you have to look at both. So you're wearing a headset and you're having to like look down your nose like a freaking cholo, like, que onda ese? What barrio you rep, eh? You know what I mean? Like, but even worse, I don't know, maybe Californians are just so good at looking down their nose at people that they expect you to be able to, uh, wear a headset and play with your device at the same time. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not fun. I had a hard time doing that. And then I already shot the video. Like I told you before, like I, I shot a video of me playing this game for the first time, but the tablet forced an update. So all you got to see was, so, <laughs> When I went to play the video back, all it was was just the forced update. Um, but this game has promise, and uh, once I get used to the controls, I think I'm really going to like it. Uh, this channel isn't for children. I know children like video games. I know they like uh, 
action figures and stuff like that, but this video is not for the, for them. It's really not even for you. Uh, it's, it's basically just for my family and my friends that are overseas or in different states just so that they can kind of like see the dumb, you know, all the dumb crap that I do and uh, the things that I'm up to. Um, so FTC, please don't show up and find me $40,000 and tell me that I got to spend another $300,000 to keep you from finding me for that $40,000. I don't know, that's really weird, dude. Like, um, imagine somebody runs up and robs you for $40 and then tells you that you have to give him $250 in order to get your $40 back. Like, that's government for you, man. Government. Uh, they love robbing people and they have no remorse. <sighs> they have no remorse. Government ruins everything. Uh, anything that you can do to make government smaller, do it. If there's any kids that are watching right now, you're not supposed to be watching this. But if you learn anything from this, learn that government ruins everything. Never give them power over anything. Don't let the government take care of your goldfish. They're horrible at everything that they do. Anyways, y'all have a good night. Um, go check out Garbage Man on Indiegogo. Uh, $35 for a ruthless, uh, I believe it's a hardcover um, graphic novel. It's like a hundred and something pages long for $35. You can't beat it. Go check that out. Indigo Go. Garbage. Um, garbage. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot. Garbage Man, right? Yeah. Go check that out. Y'all have a good night. Be safe. Take it easy. And uh, stay out of trouble. All right. Y'all.